Kido and welcome in the other 3 bono tutorial. Before we start, I just wanted to apologize for the time it took. Thank you community for uh, your patience and thank you patient backers for still believing in me. Let's go! Alright, so let's start with what you need to download. The ViewChat Creator Companion first that you will find in the ViewChat website under download here. And then you will need the Archer SDK, which is on my website. You can find it under downloads and it will be in the toolbox or um, in the Archer base thingy here. Once you have those two, you can open the Creator Companion. It will recognize your Unity version if you have one installed already, or if not, it will make you download the right version. So it's it's a must have. Once you have this open, you can create a new project, select avatar, name it whatever, and create. In my case, I already have one prepared. That's this one. So once your project is loaded, you will just drag the ASDK in your assets. So here is the custom installer for the Otter. Uh, in here you will find some buttons for the Discord, the shop, the Patreon, tutorials and change logs. Here you will log in with your uh, Shader 3 or Outer Space account. Then here you have the TOS of my models. Please take a second to read them. Here is the installer. So in this section, you have access to your bases like Archer, Adir. Here are the Patreon assets if you are a supporter. Here is the DLC and tool section. If you have a DLC in here, it means that it's 3.0 compatible. So for example, if you want to install the Archer and the Winter props, you will click on Archer here and then go to DLCs and Wind Otter and run. In my case, the latest utter is not out yet, so I will go in Patreon items. And I will select the utter fanboy and hairstyle. And run. From here, it's gonna install everything that you asked, plus some tools like Poyomi and the utter merger. When everything's installed, you get to choose the scene that you want to work with. So let's go for PC standard for now. Something that I like to do to reach the avatar pretty fast is the, uh, click on here and then double click on model. Then it's centered and zoomed. So what we're going to do now is install DLCs on the model, change the textures and then upload on PC and on Quest. So for the DLCs, you will just go to other tools, merger, and then you choose whatever you want to install. So let's go for the fanboy first and then uh, the hairstyle, no more. All right. Then for the textures, the materials are located in here and the existing textures are here. If you're someone very organized, you're gonna create a folder here with your name and grab your textures, put them in there. Select your both of your textures, do alpha is transparency, apply. And for the body uh, texture and only for this one, I would suggest going for 4K because the whole body is on the same map now with a compression, apply. Then you just need to go to materials and select everything you need to go with. So the PC body eyes and the PC body are using the same texture. So let's go for this one, you unlock and then take your texture and put it in the very first little square here. See the eyes have changed. And then body and props. Let's hide the DLC so it's easier to see. Once you're here, you will log in into the via chat. From here, you will autofix the red stuff and then build and publish for Windows. In here, you say yes and OK. Then here, you just name your model. You check this box here and upload. For Quest users or people who want their avatar to be shown as Quest, 
uh, once you upload it on PC, before you leave, you will go into the inspector of your model of your avatar and you will grab the avatar ID that's in the pipeline manager. Control C. Then you will go to build settings and switch to Android here. Switch platform. Once it's switched, you can go back to the other SDK and select the quest. And from here, you will reuse your textures in these two materials. So body and props. Here we go. And then in the inspector of your model, in the pipeline manager, you will paste the ID and attach it. Then you can upload your avatar and it will work for PC and Quest users. All right, that's it. I hope that you will enjoy the new version of the model and have fun. Bye.